Brendan Shaw decided to have a rare moment, a rare moment, a rare moment of self-deprecation and self-awareness. But don't get too excited. This happens every six months. Summer camp. You're my best friend forever. Yeah. You never see him again. No, but I mean, that's what weddings do. Weddings, funerals, that kind of, it brings people together. Yeah. But I was glad to see my, it was, the funny thing was like my, like. Was I the saw, food good? The food was great. But I like gave a, my cousin wanted me to give a speech. Of course. You know, you know what I mean? Which makes sense. You know, she was like, you go last. I was like, so I'm closing, you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm the headliner at a wedding. But yeah. it was, um, it was funny to hear the. The, the 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 husband Ernest is his name. There the the his people were talking about him, and it was so funny because every single speech about him, the two people were like, "Man, Ernest changed. You know, he used to be a player. He used to like <laughs> there was you know." And I, so when I went up, I was like, "I don't know if I like this old version of Ernest." Yeah. <laughs> Ernest be fucking. He was my cousin. You know, she's like my sister. You know, she's one of my cl- well, he, only but closest if, family. If member. you're a comic at any of that stuff, like yeah, at, at funerals, what it, like even at the funeral. It, the family's like, oh, you, we, can you guys share some stories about them? Yeah. And then all the all the boys were all together, and I was like, ah. And like, yeah, you do it. You go last. I'm like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> and then also the brother went up and crushed. He had, like, intimate stories. Right, right. It was super sad, but also funny. I'm like, yeah. I ain't following that. Yeah. Hell no. I, I, love, another, I, I, I don't I, need I, another L on my fucking resume. <laughs> I'm not going up at a funeral bombing. All, all your specials and then that. Yeah, and then that. People are like, yeah. <laughs> like, Brennan, just play Gringo Pop. Yeah, you know? like, it's Gringo Funeral. We're already, we're already sad. <laughs> hey, man, you did it. Oh, okay? yeah. No, not yeah. everybody even has the balls of to like, course, put out brother. an hour of material. That's why right? we can joke about it. But, uh, but the, uh, it was 23 minutes, whatever. Oh, it wasn't yeah. an hour? No, no. Oh, wow. I know, that's how mad people get. Oh, Jesus Christ. They can sit through the 23 minutes. 23 minutes? And, and, and eight of it is fucking music <laughs> that thing was a hustle baby he's in the first five minutes is intro you came out like a black wedding like whoa i'm doing the electric slide <laughs> by the way i'm not impressed by this in the slightest yes it's good he's having some self-awareness and self-deprecation but it's too little too late if this motherfucker would have done this in the beginning i have a theory t5k subreddit it doesn't exist if the first instance that he got his feelings hurt when he went on that epic rant about homeless cats and shit if you, on that first instance, would have just taken the hate and rolled with it, maybe the fire and the kid in this current deception subreddit doesn't exist. Maybe I don't exist. All he had to do was lean into it a little bit. All he had to do was have a slightest bit, a slightest bit of thick skin. And I swear on my life, I swear on my life, it wouldn't have been as bad. I swear it. But because he has thin skin and because he had this weird sense that he was actually a funny comedian that's the thing people forget it wasn't the fact that people found the comedy bad it was like he was trying to gaslight us he was trying to convince us that no i'm actually great you're the ones that are bugging you guys are insane you guys are jealous you guys are haters you guys are evil no we all said you were terrible from the beginning all of us said we were terrible you were terrible we all have eyes and ears we could hear and see what we heard but again the gaslighting, all this stuff. Now it comes to the end. He's quit stand up, so he's a bit detached. Because he said, as well, Oh, I just stand up. You're not a comic, though. You quit. So he doesn't count. I don't know. I think that's how it works, right? If you're not, if you're not actually performing, if you're not actually going on stage, because there's some people that would argue and say, You're not a professional stand up comedian until you tour. Hey, yo, big up Omar Ramos. Appreciate you. Ah, uh, sorry for the loss, brother. I send a post on Twitter with a link to the mix. No rush on it, brother, whenever you have time. Yeah, yeah of course, Thanks of course, again. of course. Big up, big Much up, big love. up, big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, I'll share people the link now, but I'll play it, um, because I can't play on stream. If I play on stream, I'll get copyright strike. That's a problem. So I'll share the link when I finish the section, and I'll share people what, what, what you posted, and then obviously I'll listen to it myself, and I'll let, you, I'll let you know. But I can't play on here. If I could play on here, I would play it, but the fucking YouTube overlords will take me down. But big up, Omar Ramos. Appreciate you, brother. Um... So going back to the Brendan thing, going back to the Brendan thing, if he would have lent into the meme, because part of me feels like, even though he's a douchebag, even though he's very unlikable, he has a lot, he does a lot of things, says a lot of things that's just hard for people to kind of warm to. I think if he leans into like the douchebag, if he leans into the douchebag jock thing, it could work. There's a lot of people like that online now. There's a lot of personalities who have that. Like I, the the first one that comes to mind is like is like Jake Paul. He leads into that American sports douchebag meathead type of vibe. 
but I think he's self-aware. He he knows how he's perceived. And he just leans into it and plays the hill, you know? Whereas, but I also don't think he's the type of person who would sue somebody for making a bad video about them, you know? It's not going to happen. Brendan did, though, because the actual feelings got hurt, you know? That's the real issue that he has. So this sort of stuff that he's saying now, he's only saying it now because maybe he's quit stand-up. He's maybe trying to get the heat off him because people are saying mad things about him all the time. But for me, it's too little, too late. Um, he should have done this at the beginning. It would have helped. Now you're not convincing anybody. If anything, it seems like you're trying to pander and trying to play up to the thing and act like, oh, yeah, you also knew Gringo Papi was terrible. No, you didn't. You were out here saying it was some of your best work. You was out here very, be, being very proud of it. I don't know how you can be proud of that, by the way. Half an hour of joke, that's not even half an hour. Um, terrible backdrop, a, a huge drip drop in quality from Showtime. If it was me, because I've done it before, I've recorded pods, and again, small. I'm not anywhere in way, shape or form trying to compare myself to him or the level of stuff that he's doing at. But at my small level, I've sometimes recorded a podcast and I've just like not, not put it out because it was terrible. Just ah, listen to it back. You know what? This is not great. Just don't put it out. I don't see how you could ever record Gringo Papi and watch it and think it's good. You shouldn't, he should never have put it out. If anything, he should have put, recorded Gringo Papi, realized it was terrible and then lied and said, oh yeah, this is what I'm doing for crowd work or it's for social media and then cut up the jokes and put those out of social media thing. I think because of how terrible those jokes are, he would have went viral. Too little, too late, man. Too little, too late. Again, good thing it happened. Good to see he's, he's has a semblance of like, normality in him where he can be a bit self-deprecating have self-awareness because it's quite concerning when you're like that but you know hardcore narcissists have weird tendencies but it's too little too late to be fair too little too late this won't stop the tsunami of haters online saying crazy shit about him or making videos and stuff it's not going to stop it it's too little too late unfortunately for papa it's too little too late